The much anticipated and awaited censure motion was finally taken on the floor of Parliament Thursday, but not to the expectation of many, particularly from the minority side of the House. The Speaker's referral of the motion to an ad hoc committee did not go down well with the minority chief whip, Mutaka Mohamed Mubarak, who argued that it was wrong to do so. For during the debate, I believe it means during the debate. And this is the time after seconding for the debate. And that's when the minister is supposed to be heard. But his submissions got the speaker angry. If you want to attack my ruling, come by a substantive motion. Your understanding of during the debate, debate of matters before the House, is not only during plenary session. At the committee level, what you do there is to debate. That is why when you agree at the committee level and you come and put across the case here, you don't waste time in debating again. Please. And the Speaker, Parliament, it is this chamber with the 275 members. Mr. Yeah. Speaker, yeah. when it refers to uh, a Honourable decision. member, Honourable member, please. The House cannot be constituted without a Speaker. You must understand that. I've been listening to you. Don't give me that temptation. So long as I hold this Honorable amendment. member, you have to withdraw it and apologize. Mr. Speaker, one of the cardinals of democracy is to listen to each other, even when we disagree with each other. The intention to refer to the committee Honorable member, is resume wrong. your seat. Resume your seat. It is wrong. It is cannot be right. Minority Chief Whip, you have a difficulty in catching my eye again. An eight-member committee was subsequently constituted to be chaired by MP for Bogatanga Central, Dominic Ayine, and MP for Adanse Asokwa, Katie Hammond. The committee has within seven days to work, including listening to the finance minister for his side of the story and submit its report to the House. Debate on the matter is expected to be concluded subsequently. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Parliament House.